five things I would never do as a professional songwriter. I've been a professional songwriter since 1995. I actually did money work starting in 95 as a composer and as a songwriter. These are five things that I would not do again, things that I've done in the past. One, I will never again pay to send songs into the copyright office. Not necessary as soon as it's affixed to any medium. It is by law copyrighted. You make yourself a voice memo, save that voice memo. That is your proof of copyright. You do not need to pay and register it. If you really are uncomfortable with that, group a whole bunch of songs together, send them in together as a collection. You only pay the one fee for way more stuff, way more bang for your buck. Second thing I will never do again is not have a regular backup system for the work that I'm doing, like duplicate backup. Not having uh, a regular schedule, drives and separate drives in separate locations or in the cloud, at least three locations where your songs are. If it's important to you, you wanna make sure that your original source, if there's something that's compromised, your backup, something gets compromised, you got a third one to rely on. Number three is destructive editing. Even as simple as lyric writing, I don't erase. I draw a line through something if I'm maybe not gonna use it, but I make it so I can still see it. Uh, or if I'm typing into a computer, I don't delete ideas. I just shove them further down the page. But also with my logic files, I do um, non-destructive saving. Like I will save as, so I've got my song title 1.0. And then the next time I work on it, I might, I put the date, like 1.0 with the date, you know, like 10.8.22. Then. 1.1 if I you have made a little progress on it if I've rewritten a section like put a, an entirely different pre-chorus on it or completely cut out the bridge then it becomes 2.0 even if I was at just like 1.3 before but I, I save as in case something goes wrong with my uh, logic file and something becomes corrupt I have an older version that I can open up because it does happen Number four is I would never again not make the estimated tax payments as the year goes by because it never feels like you have the money and it always feels like a kick in the crotch when you've got to do it. But I tell you what, man, you're going to be so sorry if you don't. Tax time comes around now. You owe all this money. If you can't afford it during the year, you certainly won't be able to afford it when tax time comes. And the number five thing I'll never do again as a professional songwriter, collaborate with Kanye West. <laughs> never again.